What's up guys, it's Joey here. I'm out at the park. It's a Tuesday afternoon, a little bit sunny, a little bit cloudy. I've got this sweet new microphone. I wanted to give it a test and I wanted to teach you guys three mobility drills for people who have strong, tight hips. And so the reason I'm talking about strong and tight is because if you've been playing Jiu Jitsu a long time, chances are your hips are super strong. You, can, you got a killer guard, maybe you got a few killer guards. You're pretty hard to pass, right? Like you're a bit of a savage cat when you're on your back. But the deal is you're also tight as a motherfucker. And the problem there is that you've built all of this strength and then you've kind of trapped yourself in this zone where you don't have much flexibility. In the positions you play, you're strong, but if you go outside of those positions, you're likely to break. So what we need is some heavy hitting mobility drills that can start to open your hips up. And so what I mean by that, when we talk about mobility, we're talking about the combination of flexibility and strength. So right now we're gonna do three drills. They're very active, meaning that you're moving through them. There's quite a bit of load involved. These are the same kinds of drills that you would find in the Bulletproof for BJJ program. We use these active mobility drills specifically in our pre-class warm-up routines. Uh, and the idea is, is that they're hard work, they get your body temp up, they're gonna get your hips open or your shoulders, your, your spine, whatever it is we're working. Um, and they get everything switched on and activated. So we're gonna go through three of my favorites for the hips. We're gonna do a long lunge pulse, then we're gonna do a stride stance good morning and then a Cossack, so let's get into it. And follow along with this, all right? We're gonna do the reps together. So first up, long lunge pulse. We're bringing ourselves into a long lunge position. So I'm stepping back. I'm going to square the hips. So this rear hip is gonna come forward. I'm gonna squeeze the glute, get a little bit of tension through the abs. And then what I wanna do is I wanna stretch right here at the hip flexor. So I'm gonna drive my hips forward and down and I'm gonna lean back just slightly, okay? You should feel a pretty intense stretch here. Now we're gonna pull out just gently and then back into that stretch for 10 reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're gonna hold this last one for 10, nine, eight, seven, take it a bit deeper if you can, six, five, squeeze the glutes, four, three, two, one, coming out of that, and we switch to the other side. So really important, we're keeping that contraction through the glutes and through the abs, all right? Keep your social distancing. Square the hips, squeeze the glute, bit of tension in the abs, leaning towards that back leg and then driving forward into that stretch for one, two, three, four, right there in the hip flexor, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, take it a bit deeper if you can, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice. Now, you probably already be feeling it, your hip flexors should be on fire right now. And if you play a lot of Jiu Jitsu, which chances are if you're watching this, you are, your hip flexors will be super overdeveloped, all right? Because they're big, strong things and they help us play the guard game. So it's really important you start to take a hammer to these tissues and this stretch is such a hammer. Now we're gonna go into our stride stance, good morning. So we'll start with my good side. I lock this leg. So I squeeze the quad, Keep that leg nice and straight. I'm gonna step, just a small step back with this uh, opposite foot. Now, 95% of my weight is in the standing leg, a small amount in the supporting leg. Essentially, the supporting leg is just helping me balance, okay? From here, I'm gonna drive the hips out, keeping an arch through the spine, and I'm gonna hinge forward. Quad stays engaged, I keep my weight on the front leg. Big stretch in the hamstring. From here, press through the floor back to a standing position. That's one, we're doing 10, two, Three, four, keep that quad engaged. Five, weight stays forward. Six, seven, eight, nine, and we hold this last rep for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, go a bit deeper. Five, four, chest up. Three, two, one, nice. Hamstrings are alive. We go to the other side. Fam, this side's gonna look a bit average for me. Here comes that sun. This side's gonna look a bit average because still recovering my knee from my uh, ACL Rico. So you lock this knee completely. I'm locking it as much as I can right now. Work in progress. 
stepping back with the left leg, squeezing the quad, keeping the knee locked, unbuckle the hips and hinging forward, keeping the weight on that front leg. One, if we bring the weight to the back leg, we defeat the whole stretch. We've got no stretch on the hamstring now. We want the load to be on the hamstring, okay? That's two. Three, the other common mistake with this is that people will round the back. You might be making this mistake right now. Also defeats the purpose, there's no tension. So we need bum out, chest up, long through the spine. Three, four, five. Sorry if I slowed your set down, but just do a couple extra reps. You're welcome. Six, seven, eight, nine, and we hold this last rep for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Super nice. All right, now we're going into our Cossack. So we just did the back of the hips before we did the front. Now we're doing the inside aspect of the hip, all right? Cossack. So we're going to go, I'm going to go into quite an advanced variation. It's going to be a low transition. You can come down and straight back up, or you can use any of the more beginner variations we speak about all the time. If you look back a few posts, you'll see a video. Uh, if you're at home, you can hold onto a couch for a bit of balance, or you can hold onto like a balustrade at your staircase, whatever works. Feet around double shoulder width. I'm going to initiate a squat on one side. I'm going to lock the knee on the far side and pull the toes back towards my knee. From here, I'm squatting down, driving the knee out, keeping the chest up, feeling a big loaded stretch through the inner thigh. We hold for two seconds and then we transition to the other side. We're doing 12 reps. Hold, one, two, coming back. One, two, one, two, one, two, good, keep that knee out, keep the chest up, really important, we want to keep that tension through the stretch. Six minutes, we're halfway through this set, my microphone's starting to dangle a little bit here. Eight, four more, that's two on each side, you got it. Chest up, knee out, two. One, two, really try and lock this knee, keep that quad engaged. This is our last rep. Toes pulled back towards you. And last one, here comes that sun. One, two, nice, man. I'm here in the park in the afternoon. You wouldn't know that the world is falling down around us. I hope that you're safe wherever you are. We just did one round of three bulletproof hip mobility drills. If you need a little workout to do, or you got some tight hips that you want to unlock, do another two rounds of that. Do it two or three times a week and I guarantee you, once this corona thing is over and you go back to your gym, you are going to have the gnarliest guard. You're going to have the strength, you're going to have the flexibility, you're going to be able to go wherever you need to and you're going to be in less pain. Hit us up if you want more information, check the program, comment, tell a friend about it, spread the word. Our goal is to make jiu-jitsu players stronger and more mobile, help us do that. Peace.